Okay, I don't know how well this is going to record because I'm recording on my phone and it's not an iPhone, so it might be shaky. But wanted to show you. Oh, Miggy! Miggy! That branch get you? I think that branch poked him. Are you okay? Come here. Come here. Let me see. Hold on, guys. Okay, I think that branch poked his butt or something. <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to watch the video back. Um, but uh, ever since that day of him being mopey, I've been uh, taking him on an extra walk through the park by our uh, house and letting him really get his senses working. Um, just kind of walking slow so he can really check things out and work his mind. That seems to be helping. He hasn't been like that ever since I started doing this. So I think this is going to have to be a new ritual when I can. He's taking him out on his own little walk um, to uh, work his mind so he's not so bored. But I think that's what it was. Anyways, I so always share that with you. That he's been fine ever since. So it's not because he's sick or anything. It's just because he was bored because I was busy and couldn't play. So, well, we don't need to show that. All right. <laughs> All the boys came in. Guess where Mozzie is? Let's see if you can see him. I don't want to open the door because then I'll see me. Let's see. Back there hunting. <laughs> He's back there hunting for whatever is still living back there. He's just patiently waiting. Sorry, sorry. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Sorry, sorry for me shaking. He just heard me hit the window. He's hunting back there where those uh, tunnels, whatever. Oh. <laughs> Putting his scent on it now. He's so silly. He is a patient hunter. I think he's coming in now. Let's see. What are, what are you barking at? What are you barking at? Okay, let's see if Mozzie's ready to come in. Think he's ready to come in from hunting? Let's see. You ready to come in now? Oh, and they're ready to go out. Are you okay, you're coming in and they're going out. Or you're coming back in. We can't make up our minds. <laughs> we can't make up our minds. In out, in out. We can't make up our minds. No, we can't. Okay, guys, this next clip is... No, I'm not getting... You just ate. You're not getting food. No. This next clip is to answer a question I got. I think it was on my Facebook page. Can't quite remember. But today is the first Saturday of June. And they always test the tornado sirens, the emergency sirens, on the first Saturday of the month. So those went off. And the question was, are my dogs scared of loud noises? So perfect time to show you guys uh, to answer that question. So just so you know, this next clip is going to be loud because the sirens are right close to my house. So you may want to turn down your volume a little. But this will answer the question if my dogs are scared of loud noises or not. Oh, and by the way, it's been about four days since I bought the bully sticks and we still have... The little piece he's chewing on, and this piece here. <laughs> you got it. There it is. There's the little piece. So out of those four big 12-inch, I think they were 12-inch bully sticks, we still got one and a quarter left after four days. So that's pretty good. So I think I'm going to go pick some more up. Okay, so here's that clip. Remember, it's going to be loud. Curious, but he don't care. 
I hear another dog in the neighborhood howling. Maybe he just wants me to kick his ball. <laughs> They're loud in this neighborhood. What is that, boys? What is that? Max is curious. Marley's pooping. <laughs> No howling going on. What is that noise? <laughs> Listen how loud that is. I think my neighbor's out. They don't care about the sirens. You don't, you don't care, do ya? You just want to play ball. <laughs> <laughs>